Hi, it's Giles, and real quick, I just made a video of uh, doing controlling my iPad through uh, Archaeopteryx. And while it's fresh in my mind, I'm going to document what I did to make it happen. So, first thing here is I edited this um, to send on these these channels, basically. 0 through 6. Oh, no, no, no. It's actually, it's 1 through 8, which means in compute, well, you can do rand 8, uh, whatever. But all I had to do there was change the uh, channel number, although in actuality, I probably should change the note numbers as well. The uh, other change I made is here. MIDI destination 1. Now what that means is it refers to the range of available MIDI destinations uh, and actually I've had to do little hacks in order to find out what the MIDI destinations are um, but this time I just guessed and it worked. Um, typically I use 0 not 1. Uh, this kind of gives you an example of how this works this is a little uh, utility. Whoa! Whoops. Hmm. Unfortunately, I had a note left on, so I'm going to have to quit out of the. Uh, that, that was the sound of the iPad in the background. I have to quit out of the iPad, uh, out of the music, out of the synth, and then go back in. Because it. Uh, one of the flaws of MIDI is that if you send a MIDI note on, and then you don't remember to send a MIDI note off, the. Uh, synth just keeps playing the note for all eternity. So here we have my iPad. I'm going to turn it up a little. And that's just me scribbling around with my finger on the iPad. And this should produce the same result roughly. And it did not. So I got this here called MIDI monitor which tells me if messages are being sent and they are Destination is network session one. Interesting. Here we have the network. You set up session one. Oh, it's not connected. That's interesting. Uh, connect. Hmm. Wow, no idea what's going on here. Yeah, there we go. So, to be clear, you have a network session, which is your MIDI destination. To set the network session, you double click here, you create a session, and you click connect, and then sometimes you select the thing you want to connect to, and you click connect again, and hope that it worked. I'm imagining that that failed because I uh, quit out of the app and then started it up again, but to be honest with you, it's anybody's guess. And then for live routings, you can do this, right, which is where you say, I want MIDI keys to send to the network and have the network deliver it to network session one. However, with Archaeopteryx, that isn't actually necessary because when you come in here and you say MIDI destination one, you're basically making the same declaration. So basically, you use this to test the MIDI connection. That's uh, MIDI keys. You use this uh, audio MIDI setup, whoops, audio MIDI setup on the Mac to set up your network connection. You create a session, click on your device, hit connect, connect them all up, and sometimes set that up. And of course, use MIDI monitor, which allows you to choose your sources and, and all this nifty stuff to verify that the message is going through the right place. And then you can do this, although you probably shouldn't. Uh, what channels do I have on here? Channel 0, that's not a good idea. Rand, we'll say Rand 7, and that should be fine. Alright, and then Ruby drums live.
And it sounds like crap because I haven't taken the time to put up a, a nice sound set. You know, put something together so that it sounds good. But it serves to illustrate the, uh, you know, how it works.